Hi, I am a seeker of the truth and I am here to share some story which inspired me through my spiritual path, my perspective and sharing my art process at the same time. I am not an enlightened being, so what I said might not be the truth. Please leave a comment if so, as I would love to hear from different voices and think through what I overlooked. I hope that this channel would be an inspiration to those who are on their spiritual journey, too. The Magician's Sheep by G.I. Jeef There is an Eastern tale that speaks about a very rich magician who had many sheep. But this magician wanted to avoid servants and to avoid looking after the sheep and going in search of them every day when they were lost in the forest. The sheep consequently ran away, for they knew that the magician wanted their flesh and their skins. At last, the magician found a solution. He hypnotized his sheep and suggested to them, first of all, that they were immortal and that no harm was being done to them when they were skinned. That on the contrary, it would be very good for them and even pleasant. Secondly, he suggested that the magician was a good master who loved his flock so much that he was ready to do anything in the world for them. And in the third place, he suggested that there is nothing going to happen to them. Further, the magician suggested to his sheep that they were not sheep at all. He gave different minds to each sheep. To some of them he suggested that they were lions, to some that they were eagles, to some that they were men, to others that they were magicians. After this, all his cares and worries about the sheep ended. The sheep started behaving according to the mind that was given to them. He could kill a sheep every day and the sheep who believed that they were lions or men or tigers would simply look and giggle, this is what happens to sheep. But they were not afraid. They never ran away again, but quietly awaited the time when the magician would require their flesh and skins. George G. has said, you are in prison. If you wish to get out of prison, the first thing you must do is realize that you are in prison. If you think you are free, you can't escape. To realize the truth, first come recognition, then realization, followed by awareness. If you already believe that you are free, you are a hypnotized sheep which believes himself to be a lion. He goes on seeing other sheep being killed, and remains in a hypnotized state, never being aware of his actuality. You are a slave, but you have been told that you are humble and simple, that this is the way a religious person should be. You are surrounded by many hypnotic traditions passed down the ages by society. And these are the root cause of our unenlightened state. We are just building a better prison, more light, more windows, better food but still prison. We think they are protecting us, but we lose all joy and freedom. We lose our very purpose which we keep on seek but couldn't find. We get lost in our own home. This metaphor also reminds me of the story The Plato's Cave. I believe that most people know this story. The main theme of the story is to explain how the enlightened being is like a prisoner who is freed from the cave and comes to understand that the shadows on the wall are actually not reality at all. A seeker of the truth aims to understand and perceive the high levels of reality. However, the other inmates of the cave do not even desire to leave their prison, for they know no better life. I don't want to sound like a cynical person, but just to discuss on why we are merely accepting, not questioning. There is no need for any extreme revolution as I believe that all which is false are impermanent and they will overthrow as time goes on. After all, this world is an illusion created by our real self isn't it? We may talk about God and repeat the mantras a thousand and times, thinking that we are meditating or praying. But this is just self-hypnosis. It will not reveal the truth because this belief is based on fears. It is an escape from oneself, a comforting escape without understanding. We really do not want to understand ourselves. We want a result that will bring us satisfaction and security by following a system or an ideology. But is this pursuit of a system bring us understanding? 
understanding of our impulses and reaction, whole process of thinking, the conscious and unconscious. Just to mention that to understand is not analyze or altering our thoughts. Because we are confused so we search for authority. Being confused, we cannot read the truth from either the Bible, the Sutra, the Jitra or any other books. We will be merely translate what we read according to our own confusion, our like and dislikes, our prejudice and conditioning. Ordinarily, you have been told continually that unless you believe, you will not find. But the truth is just the contrary. Belief is a barrier, it is not a bridge. Those who believe never find, because they never even begin the search. People are seeking the truth while living in the falls. But the false will remain till they see the false, then the false will cease to be. Just think about it, what will happen to us without a belief? See what makes us believe in anything. See what us left when stripped of all form, nationalities, religions and creeds. There will be no division between us as we are all made of the same substance, same life in the likeness of the our creator. We are one. I would be glad if you could share your thoughts on this story and please do point out if there is anything I said that does not align with your understanding of the truth. See you next time. Thank you.